Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here. It's Friday. Yep, it's Friday and we're doing another deck review. Why are we doing another deck review? Because I do deck reviews, I do magic reviews, I do giveaways every single month here at Magic Orthodoxy. And if you like that kind of stuff, make sure you hit like, hit that subscribe button, hit your notification bell so that you're alerted the next time I upload. You know the drill. It costs you nothing and it helps me out, encourages me. Here's what I was thinking. Every single time I get a deck from GeminiDecks.com, they sell out. <laughs> they sell out. They sell out almost as fast as I get the cards. And so I went to go do my review and noticed that they were already sold out at GeminiDecks.com. But uh, while I was perusing the web, I noticed that you can get the Gemini Casino Yellow. That's what we're looking at today. Gemini Casino Yellow. Uh, you can get them still at PenguinMagic.com. You can also still get them at VanishingInk.com and a couple other great stores that sell quality playing cards. So the review is back on. I wanted to get it out there before they're all gone because look, Every single time Gemini Dex puts out a deck of cards, it sells out. It sells out. People love these cards. They love them for gameplay, magic, cardistry, all of that. These are wonderful decks designed by Tomas Pinson. And so we're going to look at Gemini Casino Yellow. Let's go. The Gemini Casino deck is modeled after a fictional casino deck, which is inspired by such treasured classics as the Dunes Casino and Jerry's Nugget Casino out in Las Vegas. The tuck ace is all done in yellow, white, and a gold metallic ink. The sides of the tuck case are a little different than the previous decks. I'll show you uh, yellow compared to the other. In the past, there has been gold, purple, the 1975 light blue, green, orange, and royal blue. This is the new yellow. This tuck was made to look more like a vintage deck that you would find in an old Las Vegas warehouse from the 1970s. The rest of the tuck case is still similar as to other Gemini Casino decks. It says Gemini Montebello on the front. You have a mirrored image of the street sign on the front and back. Front and back are exactly the same. Front and back look the same. One side says Las Vegas, Nevada. The other side says Gemini Casino. The bottom has some ad copy about GeminiDex.com. The, the top has a gold metallic tuck seal, which is pretty cool. And the top of the tuck says Gemini, Las Vegas, Nevada. When you pull out the tuck flap, there's a G logo for Gemini. And that's pretty much everything I can say about the tuck case. Let's break it open and look at these cards. If you've seen the other Gemini Casino decks, this deck is going to follow suit. It's got a nice, big, beautiful yellow colorway and you have that little break on the left and right side, that little indent, that's gonna serve as a cigar band image when you spread the cards from side to side. That big, huge field of yellow is gonna look beautiful in your spreads and flourishes. With this deck, you're gonna get two extra cards. One of them is an extra King of Clubs, and that will be great for your card to impossible location magic effects. The second, is a fictional map that shows you where the Gemini Casino would be located if it were real. Also with this deck, you're gonna get two identical jokers. They're done in a light silver to match the black pips and black suits in this deck. It says Joker in each corner, compliments of Gemini, downtown Las Vegas, USA. Now what I was saying earlier is the blacks have a silver ink and the reds of course are red. And that's really the biggest primary difference on the pips and indice cards. Your ace of spades says Gemini Casino in a nice big chunky pip right there in the center. And it says Las Vegas, Nevada made in the USA underneath that. Aside from the coloring, the pips and indice cards are gonna be completely industry standard, bicycle standard. Everything will look exactly like how you should think. Your court cards have been recolored. They are gorgeous. The yellow edition features a silver metallic ink on the face and that really shines through in the quartz. All the quartz have a silver metallic outline and the primary colors that pop out are the reds, 
golds and silver. And the reds seem to pop just a little bit more because their font and pip are also red. Well, that's pretty much everything I can say about what the cards look like, but you also wanna know how they feel and how they handle. Best thing I can do is take 10 cards, stick them in a caliper and measure them and then compare them against other decks in my collection. 10 cards in the caliper come to 2.82. 2.82 is a little thick. It's not that thick. It's a little bit up from a medium heading into what we would call a casino grade stock. Um, I prefer the thicker stock because I like the snappiness of it. They do say in their ad copy that this is printed on crushed stock limited to 1200 decks. All right, so every now and again, uh, someone will ask me how I open tuck cases and how I get the tuck seal to look like this. Um, I try to explain myself. I don't know if it always comes across. So I thought, you know what? I'll just show you, right? I'll just show you uh, how I open tuck cases. And let me just say, please don't copy me. Please don't think that what I do is the example for everybody because I think how I open tuck cases is actually very weird, okay? So I'm a weirdo. Don't copy me. And here's a brand new tuck case. This is the Bicycle Astronauts. This is the only tuck I had around that I hadn't opened. And uh, this, this is a steak knife. Uh, that's right, I take my brand new uh, decks into the kitchen, pull out a steak knife from my drawer, and I find the little lip that's right there in the plastic and the cellophane, and I just push this across like that. And this all comes up. And once in a while, um, I'll put this underneath. Oh, that got it though. There. Got some, I got some sticky on my finger. Here's the tricky part. I don't know how I do this because I have to watch what I'm doing here, but then also watch that it's showing up in the camera. Um, I'm going to stick the knife in there like that and just start to cut and see how I have a serrated knife. I'm going to turn it so that it gets on the moon. So it goes down there like that and then back up again just like that. That way you get this action happening where you're not going to have a lot of gum on the sticker. That was the thing I was always trying to eliminate was the gum and the residue from the sticker. But as you can see on the inside, there's hardly any of it right there. So now what I do is I just take my finger and I just fold over any loose residue so that it doesn't get on my cards. And that's how I open a tuck case. Well, that's everything I can say about the Gemini yellow casino deck. But before you go, make sure you head down into the detail section, check out the Magic Orthodoxy apparel. I'm wearing a light gray logo shirt today. Perusing my Teespring store is another way that you can show your support. I wanna thank Tomas Pinson and everybody down at GeminiDecks.com for allowing me to have this deck so that I could do the review for you. And if you'd like to purchase it for yourself, hurry up and get them before they sell out. They're gonna be available wherever quality playing cards are sold. Thanks guys, I'll see you next time, bye.